Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Uh, my name is Molly, I'm Twin Flame Butterfly 1111. I read cards intuitively uh, for the Twin Flame Collective, um, but you can also apply this to any sort of soul connection, soulmate, um, you know, any sort of type of relationship like that. Um, I do do personal readings. All of the information is below. If my readings resonate with you and you want to book one, um, just click the little arrow and it will tell you um, all the instructions to do that. I'm offering a twin flame spread right now for $33 and an extended twin flame spread for $44. Um, I also do emergency readings, but please email me first before you book that to make sure that I have the availability. Um, and again, you guys, I appreciate everyone who's um, sent me beautiful decks uh, for the channel and anyone who wants to make an energy exchange donation. I use that to improve the channel and also to buy um, decks and candles and things like that. Um, so I am a divine feminine in separation from my divine masculine. Um, and I am currently uh, dating. <laughs> um, and I'm having a blast and I'm, you know, on my spiritual ascension and, um, you know, unlocking more gifts that I have every day, um, more psychic gifts that I have every day. So I'm so thankful to be a part of this journey. And, um, you know, I love all of my customers, my clients, everyone who has supported me, um, on this. And I'm thankful that I can also help support you, um, by channeling, you know, spirit guides, um, the angels, the divine, uh, to give you guys the messages that you need for your twin flame journey. Um, so I do use the term, I do use the terms he and she for divine feminine, divine masculine. Um, just know that that's energy. Okay. So there's a lot of females that resonate with the divine masculine energy and vice versa. So, you know, don't get confused when I say he or she, it really just embodies the energy. Okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pull, um, some messages for the twin flame collective. Uh, we're going to find out who the divine masculine is. We're going to find out who the divine feminine is. And we're going to find out what's going on with the karmic situation. So this is going to be specifically for a group of people that are in separation from their uh, twin flame and they're in a karmic situation. So if this resonates with you, you can um, click on the link below to take you over to the extended reading where we'll find out, we'll dig in a little bit deeper to the situation as well, find out about union and messages from spirit. It's $3.33 to watch the extended reading. If it doesn't resonate with you, no big deal. Just click off. Um, you know, I also like to hear if it resonates, so please like, um, and comment below. And also, um, if you're new here, please subscribe to the channel. I'm actually giving away a free reading once I reach 2,222 followers. So I'm almost there. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for your support. So let's go ahead and get into the reading. So I just want to ask our spirit guides, guardian angels, ascended masters, five D and above, please give us the messages that we need to know for our twin flame collective today. And again, this is just going to be for a group of you. So let's find out who is this divine masculine spirit? Who is this divine masculine? Okay. That's too many. Who is this divine masculine? Oh my goodness. What the heck? <laughs> I think they're wanting to channel everybody right now. Who is this divine masculine spirit? It's too funny. Who is this divine masculine? I don't think that's ever happened. Like, I mean, what is going on? <laughs> I'm just going to take the ones that fell. That one fell first. This is so crazy. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm getting a very, um, make sure you guys can see that. I'm getting a very, and my whole head is tingling right now. So I'm very connected right now with the divine. So this masculine, oh, two of cups. Okay. So this divine masculine has been in a lot of conflict and I almost feel like it's internal conflict because we have the rest card here. Um, this is like fighting the five of swords, is like fighting at all costs and the four of swords is like rest and recuperation. And this also can come after heartbreak. So I feel like Maybe somebody has broken this divine masculine's heart and he's walking away and he's coming back for his true love, this two of cups energy. All right, let's find out. Spirit, what is this divine masculine walking away from? What's happened? What has happened here? Yeah, look. They're saying he's gathering the strength right now to walk away from a situation that has been, it says cruelty. Like it's been very cruel to him. I almost feel like this is probably a karmic, uh, karmic situation. This divine masculine has been, um, gosh, he's been really hurt by this person. Really, really hurt. All right. So who's our divine feminine spirit? Who is our divine feminine? Who is our divine feminine? Oh boy. 
Look at this. We got the chariot and the devil. Okay, so this divine feminine could be a Cancer or a Capricorn. Um, again, it doesn't. The signs don't necessarily mean anything, but this could be a very strong message for a Capricorn or a Cancer. Um, wow. Let's pull the rest and see. Who is this divine feminine spirit? Who is this divine feminine? Yeah, Queen of Swords and Three of Wands. Okay. So I feel that this divine feminine has felt very unbalanced, okay? Because we have the chariot and the devil card here. And I feel like this energy is together. The chariot card is all about the, you know, balancing out the yin and the yang, the divine, the masculine, the feminine, and moving forward. And I feel like this divine feminine has not been able to move forward because she has felt attached to this divine masculine. And I also feel like this divine masculine, you know, um, had some sort of like almost like a power over her like she felt like you know he had this power over her and she's really really trying she's been trying to break free from that from this like almost they're saying pain she's been trying to break free from this pain um that this situation has caused her and she's literally felt like the divine masculine has just had that that power over her to where she can't move forward okay wow but she is moving forward okay but again I've got the queen of swords and the three of wands. So she's actually made a decision. She's like, I'm not going to wait anymore. I'm not going to wait for this guy anymore. This is very similar to the energy um, that I had from a divine feminine in one of my other readings uh, recently. But again, she's made the decision to not wait around anymore. And she is moving forward. But it's funny because this divine masculine is about to come back to her. He's walking away from this situation that's caused him a lot of pain. Okay. Okay. So let's find out what's going on with the karmic situation, Spirit. What's going on with the karmic? What is going on with the karmic situation, Spirit? Look at the sun. All right. What's going on with the karmic? Death. Wow. <laughs> Page of Pentacles. King of Wands and Nine of Cups. Okay. So Spirit, can you clarify? Can you, okay. Can you clarify the Sun card? King of Pentacles. Okay. Can you clarify the Page of Pentacles? The Empress. Wow. Okay. Can you clarify the Nine of Cups? with the 10 of cups satiety. Okay. So I am feeling like, all right, this, this karmic partner had some sort of hold over this divine masculine, uh, with money, with children, um, because we've got the sun card here with the baby and we've got the king of pentacles. So there was some money, um, situations that this karmic was holding onto. There was some sort of ties there. Um, and this karmic has done something that has really broken this divine uh, masculine's heart, okay? And it could be that she's taking the money. It could be that she's trying to take the children. There's some sort of situation that's happening um, right now. But the good news is, is this is this is ending. The karmic situation is ending, okay? He's now wanting to come forward to his divine feminine, which is the empress. He's getting into his king of wands energy, okay? Because again, like, remember, as soon as he walks away from this situation, he wants to come forward to you, but he's got to be in his king of wands energy and he wants to make all of your wishes and your dreams come true he wants it to be a fulfilling offer coming to you beautiful so you guys if this resonated um go ahead and click the link below and we'll uh see what's going on with union we'll dive a little bit digger digger <gasps> dive a little bit deeper into the karmic situation we'll pull messages from spirit we'll see what the blockages are and um you know we'll, we'll see what happens with this divine couple all right thanks guys